If you think Biden is president, false prophet Robin Bullock declares you are sin. And I'm going to call this Robin Bullock thanks, thinks you are in sin for recognizing Biden as president. And I just want to make sure before I start this, I want to make sure because I'm using a number of links on here that you'll see that are not from Christians. But I want you to understand that that while non-Christians will gleefully use this man, Robin Bullock, to, to try to lead people away from the one true king, Christ, there are tons of Christians out there. I mean, this isn't even like, oh, well, most Christians, are, no, 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 no. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if most Christians reject this man and reject the things that he said and reject the all of the false prophets who declared that Christ that or that uh, Christ that uh, well they think he's Christ uh, they 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 act like he's Christ Trump and and this is no this is no reflection on whatever you feel about Donald Trump I know we have a lot of Trump supporters watching and and paying attention and we very much appreciate uh, the the time that you take to listen to us so and and this isn't a reflection of Donald Trump itself it's a reflection of the people who follow him and not all people just a certain small niche of people specifically a certain certain small I'll say significant minority of Christian conservatives who follow Donald Trump and have equated Trump in some way shape or form with either Cyrus the Great or or, or Jesus himself in a lot of ways although they wouldn't say it they certainly act like it but I just want to pl play this real real briefly this is uh, something from uh, what is his name let's see hey everybody Sean here and I hope yeah you're this is uh, Sean from revealing truth this is this is what we're going to be playing here so why aren't you playing the sound here today's prophets here we go the Lord told me he said, now the fight has left the heavens, and it's in the earth. Now it's in the earth. The Lord told you nothing. Now we are Stop in lying. a full-on spiritual war. We're always On in a spiritual sixth, war. the it was still in the heavens, but after that day, it dropped into the earth. What we so he is literally telling us that there's been this significant change. February 6, 2021, that's the when they ratified the election, and they had the whether it's capital riots or whatever you want to call it. Would call, now listen close to this, what we would call an administration is not one at all. There is no... This is, this is, whatever you feel about the election, I for one do not approve of a republic ever having a mass mail or election. Joe Biden is the president of the United States. Joe Biden, whether he was elected or not, it doesn't really matter. And it's the reality of power and God is in control. So the reality of power is his reality of power. And in that reality of power, Joe Biden has real power, real presidential power. Not Donald Trump, Joe Biden. He is your president. He is my president. I don't have to like the president to acknowledge that he's my president. And he's my president in the sense that I live in this land, and this land is governed by the United States government, led by Joe Biden. Administration right this moment in the White House. Now, I'm just telling you straight up, there's not one there. Now you say, well, what are you talking about, Brother Robin? That sounds crazy. Well, I'm about to explain myself. I Robin didn't know found I was a way. Be talking about all this today. Until the Lord yeah, said you I did. Was. Of course you did. No, the Lord didn't There's tell you that. There's not an administration in the world. What world. told you that was, oh, man, I got I to gotta protect myself because I've made certain Tarian claims and now my certain Tarian claims have proven to be lies. So now I have to invent more lies to protect my lies. This is why certain Tarianism is death. I'm not certain of very many things in life. I don't stand much on certainty. I do stand on the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I stand on the hypostatic nature of Christ. He's both God and man. I stand on the notion that Christ died for my sins so that I could be resolved back to, to, to the whole Godhead. I stand on the on the testimony of the Old and New Testaments alike and that all of it points to the cross and points back, it points to the cross and then back to the cross, forwardly and backwardly. It's all centered around the cross and the cross is to me the total expression of the full Godhead, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And I stand on that with certainty. I stand on the certainty of Scripture as being the infallible Word of God, even as I understand the messy way in which Scripture emerged. I stand on those things. Outside of that, there's very few things I stand on. And one of the reasons I don't stand so much is because I understand that I don't have any right to say with certainty hardly anything. And when I do, if I build a power around certainty, 
I'm and I and I already know that that I'm lying. If I'm claiming certainty, I'm almost always lying. And if I claim certainty, then that means my enemies will be able to attack me and undermine me by exposing my lies, as is happening with Robin Bullock. And when that happens, what do you have to do? Lies beget lies. Coercion begets coercion, if you will. And that's that's the world that Robin Bullock has put himself in. White House or in the Capitol. When the war left the heavens and came to the ground, this so-called administration is actually a regime whose sole purpose is to stop a prophecy from coming to pass. That's what it is. See, when King See here, Saul this is not prophecy, this is human nature, Samuel, right. Today, today, your kingdom has been taken from you. Today. But it was years after that before Saul left office. But Samuel said... The man testified that the Lord told him that Donald Trump would win the election. No equivocation, nothing. And now this man is using scripture, bastardizing scripture to protect his false prophecy. And I tell you, if you love Donald Trump, don't don't listen to this man, especially if you love Donald Trump, Trump and Christ. That's the most important thing. Loving Christ is far more important than loving Trump. But I don't begrudge you loving Trump. But if you love Trump and you love Christ, do not listen to Robin Bullock. Accept the reality of power. Joe Biden is president. Donald Trump is not. There's not going to be a coup. There's not going to be some sudden last, well, not even last minute, post minute uh, discovery that's going because because this truth does not matter in in most nation state par paradigms only when it when it conveniences the power that is. So even if you're right, even if the election was a total fraud, it's never going to be exposed as long as these people are in power and they're not going to get out of power voluntarily. And the and the U.S. military is wholly and completely on board with the U.S. government. They made that clear on January 6th when they they didn't do anything to stop an election from being certified that was run through a mass mail. I mean, they should have acted then. That's when they should have acted, and they didn't. So that's your reality of power. That's what God has chosen for us. This is, to me, Robin Bullock is like all the false prophets that says, let's, let's go down to Egypt. And God was saying, don't go down to Egypt. Take, take what you have coming to you. And, and that's where we're at. Take what you have coming to you. This is our land, and God has chosen to put us in this position. And we should embrace, not, not, we shouldn't embrace like let's just accept it and keep the situation where it's at, but we should embrace the conditions that God has presented to us and figure out how he is moving in the suffering that he is allowing on this land. Not listen to these false prophets. And I, I think I'll end it there.